Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So good Tuesday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We're halfway through, halfway through um, November already. Two weeks to go to uh, Mapic. Very exciting. A lot of retail going on. A lot of leisure happening and interesting things at Mapic. I'm already getting a lot of uh, um, invitations and meeting set up. So great, great to see it all going there. And we're working on the magazine, uh, Winston. So we're coming up on deadline of the the Mapic edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah almost there. Almost there. So if you've got any. Um, any retail properties or any properties that you that you have opportunities for retailers to to uh, take advantage of or any retailers looking to expand, let us know. We want to get you in this edition that will be distributed throughout Mapic, of course, and at our at our retail retail awards in in February as well. So uh, having said that, let's just kick off the news, take a little break. We'll kick off the news. We'll be back in 20, 20 seconds with our exciting highlights of the day from EuropaProperty.com. Welcome back, and uh, Winston, good to see you. All right, Craig, yeah. how's it going? How are you surviving the cold winter here in Warsaw? Yeah, today's colder. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's I starting, survived. Starting to feel like, are you riding your motorcycle still? No, no, no motorcycle in this weather. I think I'll wait till next year. Right, okay, good, good. Well, let us know what kind of highlights we have for the news. Thanks, Craig. Uh, today, we'll start with Deutsche Piefram Beef Bank, and uh, they've uh, generated nine of profit before tax of 159 million euros. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's despite the more difficult economic and political conditions. And according to uh, CEO Andres Arndt, he says, our expectation of a possible stagflation scenario has been largely confirmed. Inflation remains high. Interest rates have markedly increased and a recession is expected. Especially during times of crisis, a risk conservative business model pays off. This is why we remain on track to stay within our guidance for the full year. So, yeah. well, it sounds like they're doing okay in this stagflation. Yeah, not crisis. as well as they did in the previous year, but um, I think that's to be expected. Still okay, though. Yeah, still, still surviving. Crisis. Good to see the banks are okay, keeping the wolf yeah, on the door, exactly. so to speak. Yeah. Uh, moving to Warsaw and uh, a joint venture between Partners Group and Peakside Capital Advisors has signed a portfolio loan agreement with Bank PKO uh, comprising of uh, almost 500 million uh, zlotys. And these funds will be used to finance the acquisition of free logistics properties in and around Warsaw and the redevelopment of the City Point Targovec Park. And uh, according to Peakside, when selecting investments, they focus on the value add strategy, which is... Mm -hmm. um, so they'll be upgrading these these properties, I would imagine, and sure. uh, they'll be concentrating on, you know, maybe uh, shifting new tenants or getting in new tenants, dealing with the leases, expansions, and of course, very popular today is the ESG upgrades. That's right. Well, good to see that happening. Yeah, definitely with some of those older type buildings around around the capital, you know, they yeah. spruce yeah. them up a bit. Yeah, they can make some big improvements. For sure, 100%. Mm -hmm. Uh, moving to Croatia, Anima Finance has opened its largest retail park in the country, which mm. is from their Stop Shop brand. Uh, this is in Vlika Gorica, and uh, the new retail park has 12 stores and um, offers around 8,500 square meters of rentable space. Uh, obviously, has a wide range of brands which are popular in the uh, the retail mm -hmm. parks these days, and um, they're well-known brands such as Kick, Pepco, Dykeman, Sensei, New Yorker, DM, Zoo City, and Hervis. And uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're really big in Croatia now. That sounds out a lot. good. Yeah, yeah. developments down there. And this stock shop brand for Emma Finance is um, well, the retail parks are strong throughout the region. Seem to continue to build on their success of the last few years. Definitely. 
Uh, and finally for today, moving to Budapest and uh, the first phase of Budapest One, developed by Future Real, has received the Well Platinum Certification. The building was the first in Hungary to meet the highest requirements of the International Well Building Institute. And uh, following uh, the phase one of Budapest One, all works related to the second and the third phases uh, developed in parallel will soon be completed. These two projects will provide 40,000 square metres of space and nearly 3,500 square metres of commercial and service space to the Budapest market. Right. Well, Futur Real team is always delivering pretty much cutting edge project, no matter which one. Yeah, they're doing a lot of developing Budapest and uh, really changing the face of that, that capital mm -hmm. city. Well, good to see. And uh, is that all we have for today? Yeah, those are the highlights for today. That, excellent. Well, take a look at EuropaProperty.com if you want to see the rest of the news for today. And uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you tomorrow morning with the news. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.